give you a hint. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Bees. Oh, let's say it all together. Bees. Bees. And who remembers the I'm Jamila Moore. I'm the education director for Grow Portland. I support all of the schools and our education staff, and then half my time is spent teaching. So I've had the pleasure of being an educator here in the garden at Harrison Park for the last five years. Munch, 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 eat the sunlight, turn The most effective way of getting kids focused is starting in the classroom. So we can do more of the academic components right in the classroom where there are less distractions, like ladybugs and squirrels. Asked us to pick some radishes so that we can put them on the salad bar in the cafeteria. So you guys are like the farmers. You're going to be harvesting. They get to hear about it inside when they're focused and then go outside and actually apply that knowledge and see it in the real world. It hooks into so much that we have here as far as like reading and definitely with our science program. So Jamila is like so great because she connects all those things so that that vocabulary becomes real for you. So that you go out there and you actually see the bees and you actually see the eggs and the worms and all those things. So it's a hands-on really super way to learn. <laughs> what we're doing is going to complement what they're doing and we're not just kind of off in a silo. So that's really important that the content that we're teaching really matches what the teachers um, think is important for their kids to learn. They're writing, they're using science terminology, they're drawing diagrams, they're labeling their diagrams, they are learning about systems, they are directly involved in the systems, they are doing art. It's creative and scientific at the same time. They're taking in so much content. Anybody say fennel? So it's a nice bridge just with the regular curriculum that we have that bridges over to the garden and we get to apply what it is that we learn. I just really appreciate how it meets all of the kids at each one of their levels. They can engage with it as much as they want or as little as they want, but they're getting something out of it no matter what. They're being exposed to the vocabulary and the science. I think it's a really great program. We saw a flag. I know that's so cool. I think just knowing if there's just some little piece of this work that resonates with students and that they feel more connected um, to their outdoor learning environment. For me, it's just seeing that wonder in their eyes, and it's physical work, it's exhausting, I'm dirty at the end of every day, but just seeing the kids that uh, they come and climb on the fence and ask, what do you have for us to eat? Do you have lettuce? Do you have that licorice plant? And um, seeing parents that are surprised when, you know, my kids never eat that and suddenly they're eating it because they grew it. Those are all the pieces that are really, really powerful for me. If you had fun, can y'all just say thank you, Garden? Thank you, Garden!